This is how you're going to double your testosterone in 2024. Hey, first off, we got to cut out all your bad habits because they're ruining your testosterone. You think drinking alcohol is good for your testosterone? It's not. It's lowering your testosterone. That's probably why you wake up lethargic and you don't wake up with a stiffy. If you're not waking up with a stiffy, that's how you know you're low on testosterone, dog. So I'm going to put you guys on because in 2024, we should be at our peak limit of testosterone. That's how it should be. That's how you achieve all your goals. If you're high on testosterone, you're going to want to achieve all your goals. You're not going to want to be sleeping in. So this is what we have to do is you got to start off by cutting out all your bad habits that are ruining your testosterone. You eating the wrong food is ruining your testosterone. Twinkies are not good for your testosterone. Brownies aren't good for your testosterone. Doritos aren't good for your testosterone. Fritos, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, Subway. You think Subway might be good for you, but it's actually not. You know they'd be lying. Subway's not good for you. Their tuna fish sandwich is fake, dog. Like, come on. So we got to cut out all your bad habits and your bad eating habits. If you're eating all that junk food, it's just going to produce the lowest amount of testosterone that your body is going to produce because you're not eating the right food where you're supposed to be eating. So if you're eating McDonald's and stuff, you're not going to be reaching your maximum limit of testosterone. The stuff that you should be eating, fruits, vegetables, red meat every single day, yogurt, all that stuff. It's going to help you build the natural foundation of your body, which is going to help you produce the right amount of testosterone so you can have the driving force and put the work in. Because your driving force is your seed, which is testosterone. And once you're low, low, low on seed, then you're not going to want to go approach girls. You're not going to want to go approach your dream. You're going to want to sit on your ass and smoke weed, drink alcohol. So, boom, you got to take care of your eating habits and your sleeping habits are a big one. You wonder where you build all your testosterone. You build your testosterone when you're sleeping. So if you're going to bed late, then you're not going to build any testosterone. You should be going to bed between 9.30 and 11. Go to bed. Those are perfect times to go to bed. And then the times that you should be waking up is 6 to 8. Those are the best times to wake up. So make sure you're sleeping around that period of time, which is going to help you grow your testosterone, recover your body, recover your mind. That should be your natural foundation of what you do. This should be natural foundation that you take steps in every single day. A natural foundation is, boom, I'm going to eat healthy because that should be the natural thing I'm doing. That's what our bodies are naturally meant for, is eating the right food. McDonald's is not our natural habitat of eating the right food. None of our ancestors were pulling up in Honda Civics to McDonald's. That's not how it worked. They were out there hunting with their bows. Boom. Caught a deer. Now we need some meat. Yes, sir. Or climb up a tree. Now we got a banana. That's how you should be thinking every single day. This is why I feel good every single day. Because I'm eating the right stuff and I'm doing the right things every single day for my body so I can feel the best that I can every single day. This is why I make videos to help you guys out. Because I want you feeling your best, doing your best, making bread, being healthy with your family. Yes, sir. That's how we do it. The natural stuff. So foundation one is your eating habits. Foundation two, your sleeping habits. Join. what is foundation three? Is hitting the weight room every single day. If you're not hitting the weight room, then you're not going to build muscle, which you're not going to be strong. And the weight room is going to help you build your testosterone, too. So you got to be pumping iron six times a week. Have Sunday as your rest day. You should be doing it on a consistent workout routine every single day. Trust me, your testosterone is going to go through the roof once you start hitting your workouts, eating the right food, and sleeping the right amount of time. Testosterone is a little bit genetic. So if your dad wasn't putting in the work and your dad was pretty fat, it's probably going to be harder for you to build as much testosterone as me. So this is why it's a perfect time for you to be hitting the weight room, eating the right food, so you can pass down your genetics to your son.
Because if you're do- putting in the work and you're working out and it's going to take out the best genetics in yourself every single day, you're going to be strong, you're going to be lean, which then when you meet a girl that you like, hopefully you meet a girl that you like in this generation. It's going to be pretty hard for you to find one, but hopefully you'll find one, King. I know you will. So you got to find a girl, right? And then you do your thing with her. And if you're not having your best genes inside you at the time, then your kid's not going to come out with the best genes. So this is why it's a perfect time for you to build your testosterone and grow muscles, grow facial hair. You don't want to be having kids with no facial hair and no muscles because then your kids are going to turn out the exact same way that you are. So if you have a a dad bod at 18, it's probably because your dad had a dad bod when he was giving birth to you. So the simple fact is we need to take care of your body now so you can have a good life, have good kids, and ultimately have a good life experience. This is why I'm here helping you out, dog. It's that simple. So we got to take care of the basics. And if your father didn't take care of the basics, then it's going to be a little bit harder for you to take care of the basics. But let's say if you're watching this video, then you want to actually push your genes to the limit. So it's a good thing that you're listening. But now we got to take action and stay disciplined every single day in what you're doing. So we need you working out. We need you in the right food. We need you sleeping enough. It's for yourself and it's for your family and it's for your wife in the future. And ultimately, it's for your kid and your offspring. Do you want a weak offspring or do you want a strong offspring? Me, I want a strong offspring. I want my kid being the strongest dude in the classroom. I want my kid to be the fastest. So you should just be thinking about this every single time. Do you want your kid being bullied or do you want your kid being the Chad, the quiet one in the room? Observing everybody, seeing through everybody. Like, it's that simple. Also got my green tea right here. No sodas, dog. If you're trying to be healthy, you got to be drinking your tea. I got some honey and lemon in here. Your sodas aren't going to help you out doubling your testosterone, bro. Trust. And another thing is a cold shower will help you double your testosterone in 2024. So if you're taking cold showers every single day, it's going to like shrink your balls, which your balls are supposed to be shrinked. Let's say if you're in a fight, right? Boom, you're fighting somebody. Your balls are ultimately going to shrink up because you're in that fighting mode. If you go in a cold shower, you're in that fighting mode because fight or flight, it's cold. Boom. You're in that fight or flight, so you're cold, so your your body is ultimately going to give you more testosterone. But if you're in a hot shower, your balls are going to get all steamy, all saggy. You're not in the fight or flight because you're comfortable. So the cold showers will ultimately help you build more testosterone. That's another side tip that I got, you guys. You can start taking cold showers every single day, and it's going to ultimately reset your dopamine systems. So everything is going to be better. You take your cold shower in the morning, you get out, you're already getting dopamine hits because you got out of the cold shower, you got out of the hard stuff. This is why doing the hard stuff is important. Doing the hard stuff is ultimately going to lead you to a happy life with more testosterone and more everything, dog. It's that simple. So get out the cold shower, you're going to get more dopamine hits, everything is going to feel better. You doing your work is probably going to feel better because you got to have a cold shower. You're probably thinking, why am I in a cold shower while you're taking the cold shower? But then once you get out, you're like, damn, I feel way better taking that cold shower than taking a hot one. Because a hot one, you're sitting there, you're relaxed, you're you're going through the day, you're going through the flow, you know what I'm saying? It's not really that hard. But if you go through the hard stuff, ultimately, it's going to lead you to a good life with more testosterone. So we need to work on the hard stuff every single day. Get your diet right, get your sleep right, get your exercise right, and make sure you're getting plenty of sunlight too. Sunlight's going to ultimately give you more testosterone. It's going to move around your hormones and give you more testosterone. Hey, but if you live in a cold state like me and it's cloudy all the time and you need that sunlight, you need that vitamin D, I recommend you take a vitamin D supplement, which is ultimately going to help you grow your testosterone because you're not supposed to be low on vitamin D, especially if you're dark skin like me and you have a little bit of melanin, 
And you got to get that vitamin in. You need that vitamin D so you're feeling good. Your testosterone is good. Everything is good. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you're taking action every single day so you can actually feel like your best self and be yourself with your higher testosterone. So you guys have a great day. Keep your head up. Yes, sir, I'm out.